if you're new to the channel, hi I'm Trisha, I absolutely love playing around with colourful makeup and today we're going to revisit, I'll just pull it over if I can, that's if I can reach it, <laughs> won't put it too far away, that's closer, Jolly Beauty Spellbound palette, um, thought we would just do a, a, a wee look with it again, as you can see I really, really like mine a lot, especially this blue shimmer, <laughs> I've actually hit pan, I've hit pan on a couple of them already. <laughs> I was planning to do like a firework look but we're a bit late for with that and I was go going to be doing more Halloween stuff but I was a bit late with it um, so I th just thought we'll revisit it, we'll create a nice look because next is obviously going to be the Christmas we focus more on the Christmas palettes Odin's I are doing a new Christmas release they usually do a Christmas release every year I've got their last palettes from last year and previous year and I absolutely love them seeing them uh, what they look like the new ones for this year. I think it's Silvery Bliss and Rosy Jingle. I think that's the names of them and they look really really nice so I will probably be getting those. I do like Colourpop's is it Frosty the Snowman collection. I do quite like the look of that. I'm still toying with that idea. Um, and I obviously have their collection from last year. I've got the is it the reindeer palette? I'm not sure. Is it Rudolph? I don't know if it's Rudolph. I'm prob it's probably not called that. But anyway, let's get stuck right in. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, if I want to just keep it quite simple or if I want to do something a bit wacky. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to take my angled brush, this one, and I think we will go into this one here and I'm going to put that into the inner part of my eye I'm just going to bring it up like so if you're hearing any noise in the background it's my daughter she must be getting ready to go back out to her job um, I'm going to just bring this up to the inner part like so fluffy brush and I'm just going to try and buff that out a bit like so if you just give me a minute I'll tell you what that colour was it is Illuminate and it's this one here and then I'm going to take my angled brush and I do I want to go purple do I want to go blue hmm This one here, I'm trying to keep it quite soft because obviously I've got brown on. <laughs> I didn't think my outfit through, but I probably should have changed. And I'm just bringing that down and creating kind of like a sort of a wing. Like so, and I'll do the same on the other side. And if you're hearing any squeaking, it's Pep. He's just hearing my daughter. <laughs> And I should have said, I've got my base face on, I'm still using the Revolution Skin Silk. I'm really, really enjoying that. And again, I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush. Just give it a wee bit of a fluff. And then I'm also going to take that shade here, Healing it's called, and bring it around, but just halfway. And we'll do the same at the other side. Yeah, I was going to try and do like a firework look or something like that, um, but I think I'm a little bit late. <laughs> We're a bit past the firework stage. Let's put that along to meet that purple shade. And now I'm just going to take a flat brush. Let's see. I think we'll go into this one here to begin with and that is called White Magic. Probably mentioned in my videos before I'm affiliated with Jolie. I will put a link to this palette in the description. 
for you to check out. There's a huge collection. I mean, there's the palette, there's a highlight palette. I think there's liquid eyeshadows, there's lipsticks. There's all sorts for this collection. It's a really, really pretty collection. And I believe Attitude Cosmetics is a way to be bringing out two palettes as well. Which I'm very intrigued to see. I really, really like uh, her colour stories and I do really, really like her formula as well. I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I think we're going to go into that blue one as well that, <laughs> as you can tell, I've used it quite a lot. Um, what's it called? Intention. I'm just going to already got a lipstick on. This is actually one that I got from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I can't remember what it's called. It was put in with a palette that I bought um, last year. It was six feet under the palette. Right, I think that's all we want to do with that. Now we will take my blush and my highlighter and just lean them over to that blush brush. I'm going into my Louise Rose. I'm just going to Lightly, just sweep around, give myself a bit of colour. But yeah, um, I will definitely get the Odin's Eye palettes. They're one of my favourite indie, I've probably said that to you before. One of my favourite indie brands, I really, really like them a lot, along with Jolie. Jolie's another one of my favourite indie brands. Why do I look grey down here? I don't know what's going on with my face. It looks weird. <laughs> Take Odin's Eye Highlighter. This is from their um, Somme 2 collection. I think it's called, let me just check, Star Legend. I'm just going to dust a little bit of that over the top of my blush. Like so. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to take my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the one that's meant to give you like a sort of a false lash, a bleh, false lash effect. Um, it's about, I think it's under a fiver on Just My Look. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's about four or five pounds at the very, very most on Just My Look. And I really like it. It does what I want it to do, which is just separate and lengthen my lashes. I mean, I always put false eyelashes on anyway but if I wanted to have a day where I wasn't putting false eyelashes on this is a really really good mascara and it's good value for money as well it's, it's not expensive I do like it's Hem Hemish I like their mascara they've got a really really nice mascara as well I can't remember what it's called it is a little bit more expensive it's maybe about 20 pounds and then I'm, I'm quickly going to show you. This is the foundation. I've been. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this. I really like. I've got quite dry skin, so this is more like a dewy, glowy foundation, which I really, really like. And uh, so, if you've got dry skin, this this is quite good. I'm not. I used to like having like a full coverage, you know, matte finish. But when you've got dry skin, it's quite hard to sometimes pull that. I mean. Put maybe a moisturiser underneath, it kind of helps, but I always find that my skin end, ends up looking quite dry. So yeah, I, I do kind of lean towards more of a medium coverage, more of a dewy finish with having dry skin. I've just noticed that my eyebrows are looking a bit wonky. I'll just have to finish that, <laughs> finish my eyebrows later on. And I'm just taking, this is the Dual Lash Liner Glue. I just use this because I find it a lot quicker to do. I can do it with the white glue, but I just find it easier. Now I'm taking, this is um, P. Louise Lashes from the Michaela Collab. Oh, this one's just deciding to pop off. And I'm going to use these ones on the bottom here. Do I get more lashes actually? 
and I just realised that eyeshadow that I was putting on my eyes, the shimmery one, it's all over my legs. This is the final look using, we'll just grab it again, Jolie Beauty Spellbound Palette. I really like Jolie's formula. Our mattes always blend really, really easily and our shimmers are just amazing. There's so many different sort of shimmer formulas in here, like there's multi-chromes, dual chromes, iridescent ones, metallic ones, traditional ones. They're just really really impressive i i i love it i, I love her shimmers uh, these ones in particular <laughs> as you can see i've been using them a lot um this is probably yeah my new favorite um from our collection i've got a few of her palettes the first one i got was the sorceress palette and then i think i got our intergalactic one from a christmas one here and then from there i basically had i've got the vampirism one i've got our um Oh god, I can't think of its name. Ether Reality, I've got that one. And then I've got our um, uh, Sirens one, Zombified, Carnival, our Till Death one, and then obviously this one. Um, and I, I just I can't get enough of, of her palette. I, I love her palettes. <laughs> Every time she brings out a new uh, collection, I always I'm like, right, I need it. <laughs> anyway, if you like this look, give it a thumbs up new to the channel please subscribe it all helps and i will be back with a new video i'm hoping to maybe revisit still somebody suggested that to revisit the blend bunny one i actually want to get my hands on the new blend bunny palette they did a collab with robert welsh and i really like the look of the palette but it's sold out um i do want to visit revisit the odin's eye eternal twilight as well um I don't know. And then obviously I want new I want new makeup. Just have to wait and see. I will be back with a new video. <laughs> Bye!